I'm going to say some words in Arabic very slowly, and you're going to repeat it after me, okay? As soon as I opened it, uh, I started crying. I wait, wait, what do you mean? Tell me, what do you mean that you started crying? <laughs> Inshallah, that's all it takes for you to become a Muslim. Okay? <laughs> so we're going to start this right now. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay. When you ask for Allah's forgiveness sincerely, just know Allah has forgiven you. Okay? He's forgiven you. I see you getting emotional. I'm getting emotional too. Okay? Don't, listen. I'm trying to hold back my tears. Okay? Ash. Ash. Hadu. Hadu. An. An. La. La. Life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have an absolutely phenomenal video today, guys. It's gonna melt your heart. It's gonna make your make 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 your eyes swell up with tears. Wallahi, it's so inspirational. A sister uh, that I met from Instagram uh, who's been following me recommended to watch my content and asked me a ton of questions. Um, and of course, watching tons of other content as well, has decided to accept Islam today. Wallahi, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to hear her and listen to her and how emotional she got when she was talking about Islam and her journey towards Islam and her relationship with the Quran. And Wallahi, it's gonna inspire you guys out there. Guys, I'm gonna ask you to please smash this video with a huge thumbs up because anytime there's a word uh, with Islam in the title, YouTube does not promote it. It does not like recommending it to people. So in order for us to change that, you guys have to smash the like button and leave some comments and engagement so that the YouTube algorithm can promote such videos. Otherwise, YouTube will not promote videos like this. So we need you like squad out there, comments all there. Guys, please make it happen. Engage with this content so that other people can benefit. Well, like you, you're gonna love this video. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and please make a dua for this sister as well. And um, I guess enjoy the video. Say salam alaikum. Look over here and say salam alaikum. Can you hear me? Okay, how are you doing? I'm good. You're okay? Uh, nervous. What, what is it to be nervous about? It's a life change. Is it? What do you mean? Is it? Is it really? You think so? Uh, well, uh, why don't you start off with your name? What's your name? Alex. Alex. Nice to meet yeah. you, Alex. My name is SQ. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Alex, just just really quick, right? Like, because this is interesting, obviously, to a lot of people right now. Um, what what is it that's attracted to you? Like, attracted you towards Islam? Uh, so basically, growing up, uh, I was Christian. Well, my mom was raised to be Christian. Okay. Uh, but my stepdad was a five percenter, okay. so I had to read, you know, the Bible and the Quran. But I never really paid attention to either one. Okay. So. Uh, I just grew up like I knew about it, but like it, it wasn't it wasn't like me, you know. Like I wasn't here for it. Um, I met Sunny, uh, you know, the, my friend, and he basically was like, "If you want knowledge, then here's knowledge. You know, listen yeah. to these people and gain a better perspective." Was I was one of the people he recommended? No. <laughs> Good, good, good. That's probably the best. Uh, if if I was one of the first people recommended, you might have been afraid, okay, or scared off. So it's probably for the best. You know, the first person he recommended was uh, Dr. Zakar. Yeah. Or like that. Yeah. That man is passionate. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so uh, he was one of the first ones, and then um, I just started like you know just listening and listening. Yeah. And then one day I was just like you know. Um, I was like, okay, I think I'm, I think I'm ready to like open the Quran, sure, and you know, just, you know, see, see how it goes. As soon as I opened it, uh, I started crying. I, I couldn't get. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Tell me, what do you mean that you started crying? <laughs> like, I, you know, I took a shower, like I got myself ready. Yeah. To sit down, and as soon as I opened it, and I just started crying, like I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Um, the tears just kept flowing and flowing yeah. and flowing, and I was just like, I don't know what's happening. I closed it, gave myself some time, opened it back up, kept crying. Like, I was just like, wow. This, that means this means something. Like, this means wow. that I should be doing it, or I was always meant to do it, or whatever the case may be. So, I started, like, this. The one thing that she said uh, was, you know, make sure that I have that connection already. So, that was the only, that was like literally the only thing that I was doing. I was making sure whenever I decide, like, any free time that I had or anything like yeah. that, I always make sure I was talking, you know, talking to Allah and things like that, just building that connection so I didn't feel like it was going to be, like, uncomfortable Good. or anything. Good. 
good. So, so can I just there's a few things I want, I want to clarify over here because I think that that's very touching itself. And the first comment about the tears is that you know we know that basically the tears, the softness or the the warmth of the tears is a reflection of the warmth of the heart. So the softness and the moistness that your eyes are showing with the tears shows the softness of the heart. There's so many people, Alex, believe me, they can read the Quran, they can pray, they can do all these things, yet tears haven't flowed down their eyes. Believe me, literally, there's so many people out there who haven't cried towards Allah in forever, you know? And I think that this is a wake-up call to a lot of us. And Alex, you mentioned something about a 5%er. Could you tell us more about that? Uh, so 5% is basically uh, believe that they, they are God, like they're uh, they have they're on that pedestal of God. Mm -hmm. They oh, it's like they're God like, body. Oh, huh? God body. God. Yeah. So it's just like nation of Islam kind of stuff. Yeah. Five percenters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's that was the first introduction that you had for about Islam and everything like that. And now you're you're at this stage right now where you're like, wow, you're really intrigued. This and that. And that's actually really really awesome. And you know sometimes people jump into Islam through an emotional lens which is fine, but honestly, it's not just emotion, it's also ration. You get what I'm saying? And it has to be rational, it has to be a choice of free will. There's no forcing, there's no compulsion. It has to be you making that decision yourself. And a lot of times in other faiths, they're just like, you have to just believe in your heart. But Islam is not like that. Islam is telling you, yes, there's certain aspects that you have to feel and believe from your heart, but there's also certain aspects that have to make sense intellectually towards you. You understand? And it's, it's very nice to hear that you are saying these things. Now, do you mind if I just let, you know, like let, let uh, uh, perhaps in this conversation, I remember you asked me that you said you had a ton of questions still, you know what I mean? Like, what, what was it that was scaring you prior to this like step that you want to take? Um, it was, I thought it was like the little stuff, like the, you know, left and right hand, yeah. and just like, you know, not shaking the guy's hand. It was, yeah. it, to remember all of those things, yeah. it's like, you want me to, you know, basically know the Quran yeah. and know all of this and then to do all of these things like I can't even remember what I ate for breakfast you know like <laughs> so I, it, I mean I still like now that you say you know just like just like basically go with the flow yeah I'm starting to it's starting to be like a little bit better but there is some a little bit of anxiety I guess you sure. say when it comes to like um, you know thinking about those things and stuff like that sure. and then now that I'm you know, but now that we're doing this, it's just like, okay, it's official, you know, and yeah. the Muslim community could be very tough on people that just come in and stuff like that. And I don't, you know, I just don't want to be that person that's just like, dang, you know, this is something that I want, but I'm getting like, you know, backlash. Or like, can I, can know? I add something to that, Alex? Thank you for sharing that. Can I add something? One thing that I want you to say, you said that this is something official. I want you to know something, uh, Alex, that this has been official since you were born. You understand? This is something that Allah has written to you, for you, since you were born. You're just figuring it out now. But Allah had written this for you in His Qadr, in His predestination for you, that this is what you were going to find, accept, and believe in. You understand? So, out of billions of people in the world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you for this, and this is something of honor. Now, you mentioned something in the Muslim community. I think you're highlighting something really, really important within our communities of how sometimes we're not the most welcoming, even though that's contrary to towards our religion, by the way. It's contrary towards our religion where we don't accept people. In fact, we need to accept people even more. I'll tell you a true story. At the time of the Messenger Sallallahu and peace and blessings be upon him, Prophet uh, Muhammad, um, there was a time when they migrated from Mecca to Medina. Okay, Mecca to Medina. All the people coming from Mecca because of the persecution was going to Medina. And all the people in Mecca, they were all refugees, right? They were being kicked out of their homes. They had no place to go, so they went to Mecca, uh, Medina, excuse me a neighboring city. Now, Alex, it's really interesting. There were people who were given the special title of the Ansar. That was their name, the Ansar. And literally, this is how they welcomed them. They gave them their homes. They gave them their wealth. These are refugees. They never met them. They didn't know them. They All they did was they gave them whatever. They needed clothes, they gave them their old clothes. Some men at that time of polygamy, and some men who were married 
to had like multiple wives, they had two wives, they said, we will divorce our wife so that you can have a wife. You understand? Like that was the type of love and embracing that they were doing. Yes, we're so far away from that in today's day and time. They were giving their property away to them, their food, their money, everything away to them. That's why they have such an honorable title. And I think this is a lesson for anyone. Those who embrace the Muslims, the reverts, those who come in, that is the title of the Ansar that we can have by being those who sacrifice from ourselves to give to others to make their transition a bit easier, okay? So, so please, if there's anyone who gives you trouble, you call me, I will sort them out. You understand? I will be at your masjid, I will pull up at your masjid, and I will sort them out. Like, this is unacceptable, okay, Alex? Like, I think you're in Jersey, right? You're not, too, you're not too far from me. I'm in the Bronx, all right? Listen, I'm going to come through with my Tims ready to stomp some people out. They play with you, all right? Alex, don't let anyone mess with you. Just let me know if you need anything whatsoever. I'm happy we were able to have this conversation. And the advice that I told you straight away when you said you have so many things, I told you, Alex, the number one thing that you need to focus on is your relationship with God. Understanding Him, understanding His names, understanding His attributes, His characteristics, because that's what's going to keep the connection strong. Once the connection is strong and your love for Allah grows, Grows even more then all the things that you were having trouble leaving it'll be easier for you to leave because you're leaving it for the sake of Allah because you love him so much right and that's a process that takes time are you going to slip up and eat with your left hand sure that's gonna happen I want to let you know it is gonna happen but don't let that be the reason that discourages you instead now you should be more conscious about which hands do you read are you gonna make other mistakes sure are people gonna come in and try to give you religious advice who have no qualifications whatsoever absolutely I'm warning you all right be ready for people to convince you to change your name I'm warning you right I'm warning you people be ready for people to tell you everything in this Muslim starter kit manual hey Alex do this 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 don't worry about all those things, Alex. Take your time. Do what's best for you, but focus on your connection with Allah. Yes, there's certain major sins that you should abstain from. If you're into drinking, try your best to stay away from drinking and leave that for the sake of Allah because it's not good for you. You understand? There's certain major sins that you need to stay away from, but you are going to slip up every now and then. If someone corrects you, it should tackle your spiritual sense. It should, like you should, you should consider it. And then if something doesn't sit well, consider it, then ask the question like, is this what they're saying true or not? But just be very careful with who you get information from because people out of love and excitement, right? People out of love and excitement are going to tell you everything in one sitting. Just out of love and excitement. But just know, Alex, like literally your connection between you and God and the more you towards turn towards the understanding and loving uh, nature of God and understanding the, the, the teachings of the messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, the closer you're going to get to God. Okay? And that's a process. That's a process. It's not a pill. Okay, it's not a race, it's a marathon. Okay, because Allah is going to ask you about your entire life. He's not going to ask you just about single moments. It's going to be your entire journey towards Him. And just know that every mistake that you've made has led you, led up to you embracing Islam. It's led up to you getting closer to Allah. Every mistake that you've made has brought you to this destiny. Okay, so even moving forward, the mistakes that you make, embrace them. Embrace them. Don't run away from them. Don't shy away from them. Don't be so embarrassed that, you know, the shaitan is going to come to you. He's going to say, Alex, really? Look what you did. If they knew, if SQ knew what you just did right now, he would never co-sign you. No, don't listen to him. He's trying to, he, you become an open enemy to him as soon as you become a Muslim. Immediately. He's going to do his best to take you off that path. Every mistake that you made and you're going to make make sure that that leads you closer to Allah. If you've made a mistake, instead of just whining and complaining about it, make sure that worry turns into the worship for you, okay? Make sure all those mistakes that you make, you turn back to Allah because guess what? Our Lord is a forgiving Lord. He's a forgiving Lord, that's what He does. His job is to forgive you and your job is to mess up, okay? So it's a part of your job to mess up and it's a part of your job to be reflective and ask Allah's forgiveness and leave the forgiveness in the hands of Allah. When you ask for Allah's forgiveness sincerely, just know Allah has forgiven you, okay? He's forgiven you. I see you getting emotional, I'm getting emotional too, okay? Don't, listen, I'm trying to hold back my tears, okay? Listen, this is all the part of Allah's journey. I'm super proud of you. If you're ready, I'm gonna walk you through the process of taking your shahada. How does that sound? Okay. Sounds good? good. Okay, yeah. inshallah. Okay, let's do this together, inshallah. Okay, I'm going to say some words in Arabic very slowly, and you're going to repeat it after me. Okay, then I'm going to say those same words in English translation so you can know what you said. And inshallah, that's all it takes for you to become a Muslim. Okay, so we're going to start this right now. Okay, you ready? 
Yes. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Sandeed creates stylish quality attire at the most affordable prices. With their dope men's and women's wear, and of course global shipping, rocking their clothes is a no-brainer. Link will be in my description. So have a look at their website and see if something catches your eye. Now let's get back to the video. Okay. Ush. Ush. Hadu. Hadu. Un. Un. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa. Wa. Ash. Ash. Hadu. Hadu. An. An. Muhammad. Muhammad. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa. Wa. Rasul. Rasul. Lahu. Lahu. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there's nothing worthy of worship. That there's nothing worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad, that the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, peace and blessings be upon him, is the servant, is the servant and slave of Allah, and the slave of Allah. Mashallah, that's it. You become a Muslim. That's it. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> my sister, oh, my sister, believe me, believe me. You are of not only the luckiest, most blessed of people, but my sister, you are better than most human beings on this earth. You are literally a brand new baby right now. There is no sin that you've committed that Allah hasn't already forgiven you for. If your sins were all the way to the sky, Allah has already forgiven them to you. Imagine how many sins you would need to get to the heavens, you know? None of us have made that many sins, but even if we had, Allah has already forgiven you for them. In fact, He's taken those mountains of sins that you have committed and turned them into good deeds for you. So not only are you starting with a bre uh, like a fresh slate, but you're also starting ahead of the curve because you have good deeds on your sides. Now the biggest challenge for you and I is making sure we hold on to those good deeds and present them to Allah on the day of judgment. Okay? There's a day of judgment where we have to meet Allah and if we can protect our deeds from refraining from backbiting, gossiping, lying, hurting and harming people, right? Uh, you know, leaving nasty comments to people. If we could refrain from doing these things, we present our deeds to Allah on the day of judgment and the reward and prize that we have waiting for us on the day of judgment will be beautiful. It's easy for us all, sis, to perform good deeds. That's easy. The difficult part is holding on to them and bringing them to Allah on the day of judgment. MashaAllah, may Allah accept from you May Allah bless you. What, what, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> Overwhelmed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a good way, I hope. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. I'm so, I'm so honored, proud, privileged that Allah has used, uh, like, chosen me to help you with this process. Believe me, I feel so lucky in this process, and I ask Allah to reward the brother Sunny who brought you to this path and towards this this location. And I ask Allah to bless him and all of the people who played a role to help you accept Islam. Believe me, sis, you might think that it was just one person, but it was Allah, like the entire universe was helping you become a Muslim this whole time. You just didn't know it. You just did not realize it. And believe me, all the people who've even said negative things towards you about Islam have helped you become a Muslim. Even the people who've helped, like hurt you or harmed you or, you know, prevented you or made your path a little more difficult, they've all helped you become closer to Allah and become a Muslim. So instead of, uh, you know, instead of saying negative things about them, instead let's make dua for them and ask Allah to guide them and to bless them and to forgive them and ask Allah to have their mercy upon them. My sis, Allah has blessed you. And Allah, I feel so fortunate to know someone such as yourself. Okay, I feel so fortunate to know someone as amazing as you, my sister. I, I honestly feel overwhelmed with joy and happiness to know that there's beautiful souls such as yourself that Allah finds in, the, in this world of billions of people and He chooses for Himself. And you, my sister, were chosen by Allah. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you, my sister. Okay, now, sister, what, what, what do you like? What's going on in your mind right now? <laughs> um, I did it. You did. Well, I felt like that's absolutely. Listen, I feel like there needs to be a party for you. I think we need to throw a shahada party. Everyone needs to throw a shahada party 
for you, my sister. Honestly, like this is so awesome and amazing. Honestly, I'm so so happy for you. My sister, my biggest advice to you would be obviously uh, keep reading the Quran, keep doing that in the English translation uh, as you're going at your own pace, inshallah. And remember. Pick up a book. You can look online or something like that. And uh, please definitely send me. Now you have my number. Send me your address. I would love to send you a little Muslim starter kit. You understand? Like just a little like gift pack from me and my family to you, inshallah. And just remember something, my sis. My entire family is here for you. Entire. I, I mean that. This is my personal number. You can reach me anytime you need something. Anytime at all. Just send me a text message. I can give you my wife's number as well. So if you ever have any women-related questions that you feel more comfortable asking her, just ask her. No problem whatsoever. If you need someone to hang out with, someone to like chill with, like people you're feeling lonely, come over to New York. We're more than happy to help you. Invite us over. We're more than happy to come over to your place and freeload off of your fridge. No problem, okay? <laughs> at all whatsoever. But just know that you have have a whole family here. Do not feel alone, okay? The shaitan loves to isolate the believers. He loves to make people feel alone. You're not alone, okay? You have people here who love you and care about you for the sake of Allah, only for the fact that you've declared the shahada and you're a Muslim, okay? So we love you for the sake of Allah. Don't worry about a thing. If you need anything whatsoever, call me, FaceTime me. You have my info, okay? And please definitely do send me your address information and definitely also make a good relationship at your local masjid, right? Yeah, I'm sure it's okay. Yeah, definitely. So when you send me your address, I'm gonna look up at a masjid, this and that, and I'll probably try to like create something as well for you, uh, a, a better support system, so that it's easier for you over there, inshallah, so you don't feel alone. Uh, but just when, that's when you send me your address and stuff. Okay, I'll do some research on my end, inshallah. Okay, once you do that, my sis, it's been an absolute pleasure, pleasure to speak to you. You have any questions for me? Uh, not right now. No, not right now. Okay, listen. <laughs> as soon as you have a question, feel free to shoot me a text, a voice note me, FaceTime me, whatever it might be. Just know I'm here for you. And of course, listen to me. I'm letting you know, Alex, okay? People are going to watch this. This is People are going to like see this. You're going to inspire. <laughs> Imagine how many people you inspire. You're going to inspire so many people, inshallah. I'm so looking forward to share your journey with others. And believe me, sis, share your journey. Talk to people about this because you're an inspiration to many. You just don't know it yet, okay? So many Muslims are going to watch Watch this, their hearts are gonna melt because they're gonna be like, wow, like I've taken my religion for granted for so long, yet another person hears Allah, opens the Quran, and they cry, yet I haven't opened the Quran, yet I don't cry. So believe me, the amount of good deeds that you're gonna receive is gonna be absolutely phenomenal, okay? May Allah bless you, my sister. May Allah accept from you. And may Allah forgive us all of our shortcomings. And may Allah make you firm on his deen. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with the best life as possible and grant you the highest level of paradise. Okay? Okay, my sister, take care. Assalamu alaikum. And we'll talk whenever you're ready, okay? Well, that was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and benefited and actually had your heart moved and melted just a bit. Tell me in the comment section below if you think me, my wife, my family should go and surprise the sister. Surprise her completely. She won't know about this at all unless she watches this video. But either, either way, right? Tell me in the comment section below if you believe we should do that. And let's maybe set a target for maybe about 3,000 likes. If you get 3,000 likes, hell, it doesn't matter. Unless we, I almost fail. I almost trip, by the way. I don't, even if you don't do 3,000 likes, I'm still going to go and deliver the gift for her no matter what. But sometimes it's fun to have a little target to get you guys excited for you guys to smash that like button and engage with the content. Love you all for the sake of Allah. If you're new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe uh, because you made it this far. So you clearly like what you saw. Know what I mean? And of course, watch some of my older videos on this section over here of the Office of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.